Coronavirus is a type of virus that causes infection in your sinuses, upper respiratory system, throat and nose. There are many different types of the virus, but some are very serious. In early January 2020, WHO identified a new type of coronavirus. Known as 2019 Novel Coronavirus 2019 NCOV in China. By late January, there were more than 800 confirmed cases in China. And the death count continues to rise. Coronavirus was first identified in 1960. But scientists had no idea where it came from. They get their name Corona due to their crown-like structure. Coronavirus can affect both animals and humans. They spread the same way as other cold viruses. They can spread through coughing and sneezing. They can also spread by touching an infected person's face, hand or other body parts. The virus can also spread by touching infected doorknobs, which might have been touched by infected people. The symptoms of coronavirus are runny nose, severe cough, sore throat, fever, difficulty breathing, Tests like nose culture, throat culture and blood work can identify the virus. The symptoms, if the attack is not severe, can go away within 3 to 5 days. If the infection spreads to your lower respiratory tract, it can reach your windpipe and both of your lungs, where it can lead to pneumonia. This is more common in older people with heart issues, or people with weak immune system. The virus can spread to your kidneys. It may lead to kidney failure if not diagnosed and properly managed. There is no vaccine available for coronavirus. To help prevent the virus and keep yourself safe, here are the things you need to do similar to avoid the common cold. After coughing, sneezing, before, during, and after you prepare food, wash your hands. Wash your hands if they are visibly dirty. Use warm water and soap, or with hand sanitizers. Keep your hands and fingers away from your mouth, nose and eyes. Avoid contact with people who are infected, or you suspect they might be affected. Avoid close contact with the infected individuals. Do not use their used items, such as soap, towel, spoons, glass, etc. Cook your meal thoroughly, especially meat, chicken and eggs. Use different chopping boards and knives for raw meat and other foods. When shopping in wet markets, make sure to wash your hands. If you touch a live animal or seafood, such as fish, lobster, etc., do not touch your nose, eyes, mouth after touching any animal or animal products. If you use any tissue after sneezing, immediately throw that away. If you feel any of the symptoms, make sure to seek medical care and share your previous travel history with your health care provider. The most important thing to do is to avoid undercooked animal products at all cost, whether it's milk, meat, or animal organs. Remember, coronavirus spreads the same way as other cold-causing viruses. Stay safe, stay protected. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, the expert body on coronavirus, has released guidance for general public and healthcare professionals on the symptoms of the virus. A person could be at risk if they have any or all of the following. Fever and symptoms of lower respiratory illness, such as coughing or difficulty breathing, after traveling to Wuhan or having close contact with someone who is ill and is now under investigation for the virus in the past two weeks fever or symptoms of lower respiratory illness after having close contact in the past two weeks with someone who's been confirmed to have the virus. The CDC defined close contact as being within about 6 feet, 1.8 meters, or within the room or care area of a person with the coronavirus for a prolonged period without appropriate protective clothing, or having direct contact with the infectious secretions of a person with the virus without protective clothing. Coronaviruses are particularly dangerous for people who have weaker immune systems.
like young children and older adults. To protect yourself from the virus, try to avoid contact with people who display symptoms similar to those of pneumonia or the common cold by coughing or a runny nose. Don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth with unwashed hands. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water and scrub for at least 20 seconds. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizer when possible. Avoid animals and animal markets. The only current treatment for coronavirus being offered is supportive coronavirus HCOVEMC. A new and deadly virus has reared its ugly head causing grave concern among the international health community. HCOVEMC aka Human Coronavirus Erasmus Medical Center was first recognized in mid-2012. This deadly mutated strain of coronavirus is apparently highly lethal, so far five of the eleven no victims of this deadly disease have died. This mutated virus is similar to a strain of coronavirus found in bat populations. Unfortunately it appears that this new and deadly virus has made the leap from animals to humans, and even more disturbing, recently a human-to-human -human transmission has occurred. The first recorded victim was identified in June 012 when a 60-year-old male appeared in a Jeddah Saudi Arabia hospital with flu-like symptoms and difficulty breathing. Within a few days of admission to the hospital, this patient died of kidney failure and severe pneumonia. In the past seven months, 11 more cases have been identified, including one in England in early 2013. This particular case of HCOVEMC was particularly disturbing to international infectious disease researchers and WHO World Health Organization because the British victim apparently contracted the new and deadly coronavirus from his father who had recently traveled to the Middle East. The virus apparent ability to leap from animal to human then quickly from human to human is very disturbing. The symptoms of HCOVEMC infection are flu-like, including fever, a cough and difficulty breathing, which quickly evolves to severe pneumonia and renal kidney failure. Public health officials have sounded a warning to the international community advising all medical facilities and doctors to be aware of and to report any unusual respiratory infections. This new coronavirus is similar to SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome, and possibly even more lethal and more infectious. While the low rate of infection so far indicates that HCOVEMC currently has a low transmission rate, health officials are very concerned that at any moment this deadly new strain of coronavirus could further mutate into a highly contagious disease that could rapidly spread person to person internationally. Only time will tell whether or not the HCOVEMC will or will not be our next plague and whether or not we will have developed the right antibiotics to stop it. The increase in the rate of disease transmission from animal to humans continues to alarm the worldwide health community. With the increase in international travel, we continue to see an increase in the mutation and spread of human to animal diseases zoonoses, that originate in remote areas of the world where close human-animal contact occurs more frequently. At any moment one of these new and deadly disease could trigger a deadly international plague. It is imperative that we are alert and prepared to confront what appears to be the inevitable.